He is the best mixed martial artist that the nation of Sweden has ever produced. Former two-time UFC light heavyweight title challenger Alexander Gustafsson. And he hasn't realized the UFC title yet. But I know you guys will always have UFC 192, one of the harder fights of your career. One of the toughest nights that I've ever had in the UFC. And Alexander Gustafsson showed in that night that not only is he skilled, he's as tough as they come. From the war with John Jones to the war that him and I had to some of the biggest victories that he stood and he's won in the octagon. A very, very skilled striker with fantastic boxing, unbelievable footwork, and very, very underweighted wrestling. One of the only guys that can say he's taking me down and also taking John Jones down in a championship fight. He really is the total package. I know he hasn't solved that John Jones puzzle yet, but truly a special striker. And in terms of the movement at 205 pounds on the feet, nobody does it better than Gus. Folks, here he is with much fanfare, the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC light heavyweight champion. Big challenge in front of him tonight, but this man looks like an individual who could reign for some time. Well, he reigned atop what was the UFC's glamour division. You go from Tito Ortiz to Chuck Liddell to Randy Couture, John Jones, Mauricio Shogun, who has so many great champions have held this title, that there is a lot of credibility that comes with it. This man loves that he is the 205 pound champion and knows how difficult it is to reign for a long time in such a tough division. A lot of budding contenders coming his way. We'll see how he handles this particular challenge here tonight. John Jones set to fight the mother, Alexander Gustafs. Tale of the tape for this light heavyweight championship fight. We go inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Alexander Ramala Gustafsson. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, UFC undisputed light heavyweight champion John Bones Jones. Herb Dean, our referee for this one. Ready. All right, here we go. Two of the best light heavyweights in the world. They are John Jones and Alexander Gustafson. And for Johnny Bones, his coaches say we haven't even seen the tip of the iceberg as far as what he does in training. Your thoughts on Jones in this matchup tonight? Jones has to go out there and approach the fight in the same way that he did in the second fight. Use his wrestling to get Gustafson down. He just really moved around Gustafson on the ground so, so easily to find a finish. He needs to continue down that path if he wants to get his hand raised again. Trying to establish the jab early on here. All right, no surprise to see Johnny Bones Jones open with some of those long-range weapons and finding some early success in this one. That's exactly what he does. He throws the front kick to the leg, and he throws those lead kicks to the body. He's long, he's 6'4 for the weight class, and he has learned masterfully how to fight with his height and his range. All those long-range weapons are John Jones' calling card. Well, he's always working off of that jab. Nice jab there by Alexander Gustafson. It's a beautiful, fast, quick jab with meaning. And now Leather being thrown on both sides. Oh, he tags him with the straight hand there. Nice job by Jones. 
crowd, not much of a setup there. Misses with the left hook. Nice counter there with the left hand. Snaps it off beautifully. Oh, strong hook to the head there by Gustafson. Oh, he lands another shot to the head. Nice takedown. There you go. Big right hook there by the champ. All right, so he's got the ground and pound game going here. Jones gets up. He is back on the feet here. Fighter separates from the clinch. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there. Oh, hurt him bad. Two minutes remain in the round. All right, so perhaps he's going to have to address right something there. defensively. Right there is a legitimate cut around his eye. Yeah, he got cut on the eye from that last strike. He's got to pay attention now before it gets worse. Kick lands there. Oh, just killer pressure and pace as usual from Alexander Gustafson. This is going to be a tough out for almost every light heavyweight in the world. DC, I know he earned your respect when you guys fought back in 2015, and Gustafson has all the weapons working here tonight. Nice shot lands downstairs. Closes the distance beautifully. He's got a single collar tie. He's going to get team. Gustafson getting absolutely worked here from the top. Let's see if there's an uptick in his urgency here as he tries to get back up. There it is. Now he's going to bump. Oh, outstanding combination of ground and pound punches here by Jones. Postures up. Ooh, and he Seconds here in round one. Sure. All right, so a grueling battle on the ground, and no surprise, the crowd pops in appreciation as the fighters work their way back to the. This is an educated crowd. Oh, big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that finish. All right, so the round is over. You see, obviously, the fighter has a cut on his cheek sustained in that round, but better to be below the eye than above it. All right, back to the stools we go, and it's starting. You ready to fight? Ready. Round two is underway. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous round. Yes, it wasn't a bar fight. It wasn't two guys going to kick and sink at each other. But you did see times when it came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Nice strike. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Straight right. He misses. That one snuck in. Nice strike. So we call on the fight stats here. 56 total strikes have landed for Johnny Bones Jones. And 
striking at a 45% clip tonight against Alexander Gustafson. Oh, nice change up on the tempo there as the hook in the clinch lands by Alexander Gustafson. That was a big check. Gustafson gets hit with a kick. That one appeared to land flush. Nice shot there by the champ. Oh, and he tags him with the straight hand there. Beautifully done by Alexander Gustafson. Nice land with that punch, clearly taking advantage of his big edge and reach. Nice. All right, so he continues to land a high ball. Oh, guillotine, guillotine here. That guillotine is very tight. You better protect your neck when you fight this guy because he's got the guillotine locked in. But if he wants to finish, he's got to lock that ball. Oh, he is out. How good is that? That is phenomenal submission defense by this young man. Great defense by the defensive fighter. Champ, these submission setups aren't that bad, but he keeps getting denied. Yeah, because he's not panicking. He's taking his time. He knows what to do whenever something is coming in his direction. It's beautiful. It's beautiful to watch a guy comfortable even when he's under attack. Oh, great ground strike there. And now, blood is a factor. Well, Gustafson's right back to the full mount. Just over two minutes to go. All right, so he continues to land a high volume of strikes. You know, sometimes when you play basketball, you're in the zone. Mm -hmm. This dude's in the zone. This guy's throwing his basketball in the midst of the ocean. He can't miss with anything that he throws. Every kick lands. Every punch lands. He has just outclassed this guy on the feet. You have got to find a way to change the way that this fight is playing out, or your night's going to end very early. Most fighters will tell you offensive wrestling is the hardest, most exhausting thing. Especially if you're just running the guy over, Jonathan, he just gets up. All right, crowd absolutely loving it as the fighters, however compromised, make their way back to the feet. They may be tired, but that tired, their fatigue is warranted. That was a high-level grappling exchange between two phenomenal grapplers. Beautiful strike there as he continues to attack that cut. Cut man's gonna have some work to do if we get to this duel between rounds. But that's why we got the best in the business. We got the best cut men in the business, and they are going to need him right now because this cut is getting worse, and it's only gonna continue to get worse because he has got a killer in front of him. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Quick jab lands there. 30 seconds now to go on the round. Beautiful. <laughs> 20 seconds to go round two. What a nasty kick. That was thrown with ill intent. Straight right is there. Seconds winding down in round two. Good round. All right, so there's the end of the round. Big story in this one now. The cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there. All right, DC, we'll get a few clips of the damage done in that preview. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, big head kick there. Up now, and now the damage is about to start. 
and he will let his opponent stand up here. And just misses with that big right hand. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Great job moving into his opponent and getting to that single couch. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. The fighters separate. in half court. Just over three minutes to go in round three. All right, side control now. Jones getting worked here from the top. Let's see if he goes for a sweep to try to get back to his feet. Lance with the ground and pound here. Jones gets back up again. Nicely done. He has landed a high volume of strikes in this round and really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. The striking has been on point every step of the way. Careful to not get Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Well, that body... What an absolute freak of a knockout here tonight. That's a three-check knockout, right? Show money, win money, bonus money. Absolutely, J.A. There's nothing more exciting than a knockout in sports. You don't see it anywhere but mixed martial arts. This young man will celebrate this deep into the night as he should. Let's get it to Bruce Buffer now. He has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 44 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC light heavyweight champion of the world, Alexander the Mauler Gustafsson. Man, so with an entire nation on his back, Alexander Gustafson gets the job done yet again. When he puts it all together, there may be no more exciting fighter on this UFC roster. You got to think before his career is said and done, Gustafson will eventually be belted with that elusive UFC gold.